Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Simpson and I'm an elite performance coach. And just in case you're worried about this, it means, yes, you are in the right place because we're all capable of being elite performers. Now, I talk to a lot of people every year and they all have, we all have desires and aspirations. And I've, I've established three buckets. I could have, I could have had 300 buckets, but three works for me. And these, these desires and hopes and aspirations and goals and dreams that we have can be described as things that relate directly to our health, wealth and happiness. One of those, two of those or all three of those, preferably all three. Now this is our, to get what we need, to get what we deserve, to get what we want, it's going to take some luck. We have to put luck on our side. And fortunately for us, luck is one of our default settings because there's enough luck, lucky opportunities that come around for all of us that uh, there's more than enough to go around. So in that case, why aren't we all more lucky? Well, it's because we get in our own way. This is a recurring theme, we get in our own way, or more specifically, when we feel that we're lacking something, that we're frustrated, there's a bit of our brain called the ego that gets in the way. This is the ego that wants to take charge. This is the ego that will hunt down these lucky opportunities rather than just allowing them to come. Remember what uh, Carl Jung said famously, luck, uh, luck, well, in this case, he was talking about synchronicity but it's the same thing as, as luck to me. Uh, synchronicity is an ever-present reality for those who have eyes to see. So when we're in the Zen mindset, when we're relaxed, when we're calm, our eyes are open because it's only in a quiet mind that the truth can speak. We're tapped into our intuition and our intuition will guide us towards, towards um, where the luck is hiding. So how does ego get in the way of this? Well, I'm going to talk about the seven deadly sins because ego will have its influence in one or more of these seven deadly sins. Now, I used to th think that they, uh, these are references uh, to, to, to biblical sin, but as far as I'm aware, they're not. I think they surfaced uh, later in the, Christ in the Christian church, but they'd been around there for quite a while before anyway. You can trace them back to uh, the thinkings and the philosophies of Aristotle, and they feature pretty strongly in um, the ancient Greek and Roman teachings. So it's not so perhaps so, so important to know where they came from, but what exactly are they? Well, seven of them, as I said. Lust is there, gluttony is there, greed and sloth or laziness, as we might say. Anger is there, envy is there, and pride is there. Now, in some degree, I bet all of us have got some of all of those in us. And that's OK. We're human beings. Nobody ever said we had to be perfect. Uh, but a little more than a little may be much too much. And so when we cross that uh, thin dividing line between uh, what is normal and what is uh, what, what carries a price with it, then uh, that's when the luck dries out. So this is why ego is no amigo, and I've made a video, other videos and written blogs and things about this, but suffice it to say that in this series we'll be talking about those seven deadly sins and we'll be talking about strategies to when we see them in ourselves, when we feel these things in ourselves, how can we get back to a state of balance where the luck can flow. The Zen mindset, the Zen mind state definitely helps. So that's enough for this series, uh, sorry, for this episode in this series. The next video will be posted in a week's time and we'll continue our exploration. But in the meantime, I want to give you a tip. I always like people to leave with something they can use, and that is to keep your eyes open. Be aware of uh, what's not only directly in front of you, but what might be to the sides. Because if we can spot some of the low hanging fruit of Carl Jung's synchronicities, then life gets a lot more fun, a lot easier, a lot luckier, and a lot less stressful. So on that happy note, goodbye for now.